हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके टुडे आई एम पलक खंडेलवाल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉप एमसीक्यू व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू द बैंकिंग इकोनॉमी एंड फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 20th जून 2022 सो द सीरीज इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल बैंकिंग एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट सो व्हाट इज बेंगलुरु पोजीशन इन द स्टार्टअप जीनोम ग्लोबल स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम रैंकिंग so the correct answer of this question is option a that is 22 so as per the report released by the policy advisor and research firm startup jimon the city of bangalore has moved up the number 22 in the global startup ecosystem ranking okay so now move to the next question who is the new chairperson of the cellular operators association of india for year 2022 to 2023 so the correct answer of this question is option a that is pramod k mittal so the industry body cellular operator association of india named pramod k mittal president of reliance jio infocom has the new chair person of the association for 2022 to 2023 okay so now move to the next question which indian bank has announced a usd 250 million loan to high growth technology driven startup so the correct answer of this question is option d that is hsbc bank so the hong kong and shanghai banking corporation limited india also known as hsbc india has announced usd 250 million in lending support for high growth technology lead startup in india which has the world third largest startup ecosystem okay so now move to the next question Which company has partnered with UN Women to invest USD 5 lakh in the Link Women project to create job opportunities for women? So the correct answer of this question is option D that is Linkin. So Linkin Corporation has invested USD 5 lakh in association with UN Women for the Link Women project to create employment opportunity for women. Okay so now move to the next question. What was India's position in the Institute for Management Development Annual World Competitiveness Index 2022? So the correct answer of this question is option B that is 37. So India has seen the sharpest growth among the Asia economy with a 6 position jump from 43rd to 37th rank annual world competitiveness index 2022. Okay so now move to the next question in order to boost mango exports The Agriculture and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority recently launched an 8-day mango festival in which country? So the correct answer of this question is option C. So in a major boost to export of mangoes, Agriculture and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority launched an 8-day long mango festival in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Okay so now move to the next question according to recent report the banking sector gross non performing asset fell below what percentage till march 2022 so the correct answer of this question is option b that is 6% so the gross non performing asset of the banking sector dropped below 6% as of march 2022 the lowest since 2016 and net and pa has fell to 1.7% during the same period Okay so now move to the next question according to a recent RBI circular the e mandate transaction limit has been raised from 5000 to what amount with immediate effect so the correct answer of this question is option C that is 15000 so recently the reserve bank raised the additional factor of authentication limit from rupees 5000 to rupees 15000 per transaction so basically this limit applies to all e mandates on card prepaid payment instrument and upi for recurring transaction so basically the main objective of the e mandate is that an individual can give standing instruction to the bank to debit a specific amount automatically on the recurring basis okay so now move to the next question what was the total amount of dollars purchased in april according to rbi data so the correct answer of this question is option b that is usd 1.96 billion so according to the latest data the rbi purchased usd 1.96 billion in april so earlier in march the rbi sold usd 20 billion in the foreign exchange market so since the war broke out in the europe in late february the central bank has been aggressively intervening in the foreign exchange market apart from that investors are also rushing for safe haven asset 
As a result, the value of emerging market currency increased. Okay, move to the next question. According to the recent WTO agreement, which of the following sector has received the most attention in the trade agreement? So, the correct answer of this question is option C, that is fisheries. So, the World Trade Organization has signed agreement at 12th Ministerial Conference and it is the first major agreement in the 9 year. So, the series of trade deals include pledge on the food security. So, the balance outcome of fisheries subsidies and the response to pandemic. Apart from that, the India defended its right to extend subsidies to its fishermen and fisheries. Okay?